Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. This article in the New Scientist about uh, confirmation bias and how most of us will cling on to dearly held beliefs is very relevant to the flat earth realization and the understanding that we are not on a spinning ball earth. Uh, and it seems that the author and or the editor also have an understanding of uh, the hoaxes that have perpetuated the lie that we live on a spinning ball and that science has uh, managed to conquer space and the moon. When we see the caption here, are you sure of what you are seeing under a picture of a, a mock-up of uh, people on the moon collecting samples in what is obviously a studio. Under the headline, we ignore what doesn't fit with our biases, even if it costs us. So let's just have a quick read through, and uh, bef I'll preface this with uh, saying that, of course, this is an argument often used by globe heads, uh, and they talk about flat earthers as being people who refuse to accept reality and ex refuse to accept facts and ignore all the evidence uh, that uh, is said to prove we are on a spinning ball earth but of course um, the moon landings are something that was clearly fate if you take the time to look into it uh, but uh, many will not and will just argue against it uh, but uh, flat earthers are the kind of people who have managed to uh, evaluate their outlook and their beliefs and consider and scrutinize uh, the things that make up their beliefs. So here we have a very relevant picture of uh, what is clearly uh, not a real moonscape and something being done in a studio, as we can see with the uh, lighting racks and people wandering about backstage. So what have they got to say? Well, we can't help but be more welcoming of information that confirms our biases than facts that challenge them. Now an experiment has shown that we do this even when it means losing out financially. Most research on confirmation bias has focused on stereotypes that people believe to be true, says Stefano Palminteri uh, at École Normale uh, Supérieure, or ENS, in Paris. Uh, in such experiments, people hold on to their beliefs even when shown evidence that they are wrong. People don't change their minds, says Palminteri. But the, those kinds of beliefs tend not to have clear repercussions for the people who hold them. If our biases cost us financially, would we realize that they are not worth holding on to? To find out, Palmin Terry and his colleagues at ENS and University College London set 20 volunteers a task that involved learning to associate made-up symbols with financial reward. In the first of two experiments, the volunteers were shown two symbols at a time and had to choose between them. They then received a financial reward that varied depending on their choice same old strategy. By repeating this multiple times, the volunteers found out how much some of the various symbols were worth. However, they could only see this information for symbols they had chosen. In the second experiment, the same volunteers were again asked to choose between pairs of abstract symbols. This time they were told the value of both the symbol they had chosen and the ones they hadn't. The first experiment uh, helped the volunteers learn which symbols were most valuable, but the second trial was designed to show them that the symbols they hadn't chosen could be more valuable. However, the second experiment did not change the participants' preferences. Despite the lesson that certain symbols were more valuable, they continued to choose those they had learned to favour in the first experiment. This meant that they kept dismissing symbols that would pay them more. And this, uh, before we finish it, leads me on to the question that uh, you might get is, what difference does it make to me if the Earth is flat or round? This is one of the first reactions uh, I had as well. Um, I remember leaving in a comment one time that uh, it makes no difference to me. Um, but uh, at the time, I was uh, at least open to the idea that it could be. But I didn't realize 
how much of an impact it would have on my my mind and my life. And of course, uh, any seasoned flat earther who hears this kind of retort, what difference does it make to me? I don't care if the earth is uh, flat or round, uh, will know that that person has not yet reached uh, a certain stage in their um, uh, experimentation, research and realization of flat earth. So uh, just goes on to say here that uh, this suggests that people generally ignore new information that counters their beliefs, even though doing so costs them financially. So this also can, you can translate this financial cost into an emotional cost or uh, any other kind of impact that it might have on us. Uh, a negative impact, says uh, Palminteri. It's as if you don't hear the voices in your head telling you that you're wrong, even if you lose money, he says. Palminteri hopes that we can learn to be aware of our own biases. This is uh, a very uh, pertinent point and something that we do learn when we investigate flat earth is we learn to be aware of our biases we look into and examine what exactly has made our belief that we are on a spinning ball earth and it, one of the main things is this idea that somehow people went and landed on the moon and so in turn telling us that the science and the mathematics is all correct and we have all the knowledge uh, and tech to be able to do this because we know it's uh, a spherical earth going around a sun. So these, the moon landings or the uh, apparent moon landings are almost an indelible impression on the mind of minds of millions of people that uh, make up the conviction and belief that we are on a spinning ball earth. But again, anyone who looks into it will realize that there are far too many discrepancies and anomalies and um, basically uh, things that shout that it's a hoax. I go back down to where I was. Uh, oh, bias. Okay, we can learn to be aware of our own biases. That's what flat Earth does to you. It makes you think about what brought you to understand or believe that we are on the kind of Earth we are told we are on. But says that will be hard if a person believes they are not biased. <laughs> It is difficult to shift this belief. Yes, uh, again, you know, we have um, uh, globe defenders claiming they are 100% correct because they can repeat the storyline of the heliocentric model. And yet they will say, I'm open-minded enough to, 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 to consider it. But uh, ultimately, we can't tell. Uh, for a start, what's moving? We can't tell uh, many of the things that supposedly make up the flat earth model. We simply cannot tell. So anyone that claims that uh, they have proof that the earth is moving and it's not the sun or the moon that's moving or the stars are making a false claim and using employing confirmation bias because science itself cannot tell us there is no way of measuring it and that's part of the understanding of flat earth realization so and even if some people are aware they are biased it is probably impossible to eliminate all their biases complete objectivity is probably something we will never fully achieve now he's 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 right and he's wrong we cannot fully achieve um, this uh, objectivity when we are stuck in a heliocentric lifestyle of suffering and desires and um, this competitive nature uh, but we can achieve complete objectivity when we do things like meditate and we uh, uh, kind of follow Buddhist principles of mind science. This isn't to pre preach any kind of religion. Buddhism is 
simply an explanation of how the mind works. And when you understand how the mind works and how it's connected to uh, everything else we do, our behavior, our culture, how our minds are programmed, then we can reach complete objectivity in every situation in life, even and especially when it comes to understanding or submitting to the fact that we, 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 we believe a lot, but we know very little about the world we live in and our physical existence. So our faith in our biases, biases can make us believe we are right even when we are wrong. In the end, people will have the impression that they are performing better than they actually are says Palminteri. That could increase self-confidence and provide a motivational boost. So I love this article. It's very good. And as I said, the choice of image to go with this article is very telling. Even scientists get it. But they have to do it and let on in these subtle ways. They can't just come out and talk about flat earth, but a flat earther sees this and they know the author or the editor are on the same page. Thank you very much.